Hey everyone, we're going over the messages feature here and you'll find that this is very similar to Messenger, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. So if we go to the messages, this is the layout that we'll have from the desktop and on mobile, it's very similar. From the home screen, we can go to the top message bubble up there, click on this. We've got access to all of our chats with coaches, players and our teams. So we've got a few options from here. If we click into a chat, we can go and we can type a message normally just using the keyboard or you can hit the plus in the bottom left and we could select something from our camera roll to send, take a photo or video, send a file or add something from our library which is from the XPS collections. Additionally, you've got some options in the top right where you can mute and you can hide the chat as well. So as a coach, if you are working in a team chat, you can view all the members up the top by clicking on all of the members up there. You can see who are the athletes, who are the coaches, who are the family members. And we can also click the three dots here, mute, hide, or delete the chat. So if I wanted to hide this chat, it's not going to delete it entirely. I can always go to the search bar and I can search for that group chat, open it back up. And of course we can unhide it using the settings. Now this is a team chat which means that all of the players and coaches, as they're added or removed from the team, it's gonna automatically update the members in this message. So to create one of these, we can hit the pencil up in the top right, and we can just go across to teams and select the one that we wish. On the desktop, you can do the same. Click new message, go across to teams and find the team that you wanna create the chat group with, or you can go directly to teams, click on the team that you want to create the chat with, and then click on the chat bubble here. And you can decide everyone, athletes and coaches, and from your subgroups, of course, you can do the same. Another version of a group chat is the custom group chat, where you can hand pick the participants and remove and add them as you like. Now to do this, you can go and click the pencil again in the top right, and then you've got three dots up here. Again, we can click with the option to create a custom group chat. Now we see we can select anyone that we're linked to within the club, coaches and athletes, uh, would be family members as well if you have them on your account. And then you have the option to decide whether only the coaches can post. You know, you might wanna make an announcement chat where it's read only for the members. It's important to keep in mind that with custom group chats, it's not going to automatically update the members as it's not linked to any teams. So you can also create an announcement chat by going to teams and clicking on the club name, and then you can decide who's included in that chat. And of course, who has the ability to post, and we can give that chat a name as well in the title. Now from within a chat, you can go in and you have the ability to hold on a message and you can forward it on to any other member. You can download it if it's an image, photo or video directly to your phone. And if you've sent a message yourself from your own account, you can hold on the message and delete it if you wish to. Now there are a few ways to create chat groups. You can go to any session in the calendar, click on the session, click the three dots in the top right and then send message. Now it's going to create a group chat with the name of that particular session and we can type whatever we like. Now if I go in back into the messages and find that group chat that we've just made, I can go in and I can edit, change the name and decide who can post from there. So just keep this in mind because you need to send a message from the calendar first in order to make it an official group chat, then we can change the settings. We can do the exact same here in the desktop by going to the calendar, choosing any training session, and then we can click the three dots here, message the participants, and straight from here we can type in and hit send message and attach anything that we like. Keep note that you can also send notifications about particular sessions to coaches or athletes, which is just a push notification on their mobile device. Another way to send some content in XPS Mobile is to go to the collections. So we can go to any collection item that we wish, click on it, 
And if we just hit the share button in the top right, it's going to ask us who do we want to send it to in a new message. Also from the team section down in the bottom left here, you can click on that icon and we get access to where we edit all of our teams. And we can again, just click on a name and then the message button here in the top right to begin talking with them.